Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another video. I've got another YouTube, um, Timu haul today. I have got YouTube on the brain this morning. I keep saying it in place of everything I mean to say. Okay, but thanks for joining me for another video. We're going to get right into it as always. Um, I just had some more bags, packages come to the door as I was getting ready to sit down and film. I heard the knock and I looked out there and there they were. So I don't know how much we'll get to. This is probably still going to have to be two parts, but we're going to get right into it. Okay. And I've already got a couple of bags cut open, but I've got my scissors here. Okay. All right. Y'all, do y'all like these bags? I do. I really like these bags that say Team Move on. Okay. Okay. First of all, tall girl alert. If you gals need long leggings, like if you're tall like me, I'm five foot eight and I'm mostly legs. I have a very short torso. I'm very oddly shaped. But anyway, um, yeah, these leggings are long enough for me. They come all the way down to my ankle. I'm going to link these and they're the soft material. They're real soft. They're cottony. They're not, but they're still really stretchy. They're not that slinky material. So, um, yeah, these are fabulous for a tall girl. I have ordered so many, it's ridiculous. These are like my go-to everyday leggings, which I live in leggings. I think I've mentioned that before. I am just an old woman who likes to be comfortable. <laughs> I don't have a high-powered career in an office, and so I don't, I just like to be comfortable. Oh, next up, I think we're still gonna be in the clothing category. Oh yeah, I'm excited for this. I absolutely love this shirt. Let me back up a little bit. Um, yeah. What does it say? Just breathe. I love the colors. I love this kind of a gray, grayish blue, like a slate blue, slate gray gradient. That is so cute. It's not a racerback, but it's an absolutely darling shirt for summer. And it's the cottony feel. It's not that, um, that slinky nylon feel that we don't like. So I recommend this one as well. Well, this one is slightly slinkier, but it's still cottony enough to where I can tolerate it. I can't stand those shirts that are like pure nylon. Okay. Here we go. Let's get what we got. Okay, guys. Okay, this is what I thought I had a couple of hauls go, but that was actually a cat's eye top coat, which it was very beautiful. I wore it on some artificial nails and it just made the color absolutely stunning. I wish I had it right here to show you. I don't, I don't even know where it is right now. I've got stuff scattered everywhere at the moment, but this is the rubber top coat that I was waiting for, and it's in the black packaging, so it's, so it's a true gel. It's a soak-off rubber top coat. I cannot wait to use this. Yep, I'm definitely gonna use this to finish up my Timu nails, because you know, they're so thin and weak, except for the handmade ones. You guys have informed me that the handmade ones are really awesome, um, and they're worth buying, but, but really cheap, thin ones, in order to use them up, I'm gonna have to use that top coat. But, and I still don't have them on yet. I'm still waiting for some nasty cuts to heal up. Uh, that being one of them, yeah, that was still really painful. So, and my cat scratches me all the time. I play with her and she's just, <sighs> y'all know. Okay, I've got two of these. I've got one for me and one for a giveaway, but they might actually both go in the giveaway. These look like Chanel to me. These are pressed powders. I got one, I got two different shades. Of course, everything from Timu is really light. I mean, nothing is for like a person of color that, I, that I've been able to see so far. But I did get two different shades. Let's look at these real quick. But this packaging is a dead on dupe for Chanel. Okay, let me open them. Whoops, you gonna open for me, hon? Yeah, there we go. It, it comes with a little sponge. And it has a piece of plastic over it. I think this one, yeah, that's definitely a light to medium shade. That's probably the one that will definitely go, and when it has a mirror. So yeah, very nice. I'm gonna put this back in the box. 
and we'll take the other one. Um, let me see if I have a picture of Chanel powder on my phone I can show you, but I think probably everybody is familiar with it by now. Um, let's see here. Uh, Chanel. Um, powder, okay. Yeah. See how the Chanel is shaped? That packaging is exactly the same, except instead of a little brush, you get um, a little sponge, which I don't think anybody ever uses any of the stuff that comes with the makeup anyway. I think they use their own brushes, sponges, little, um, little triangle puffs, whatever. You can just use what you have, but um, it's nice that they put something in there. Anyway, yeah, let me see what color is this one real quick. Oh, this one is slightly lighter. This one is really light. But I think, aren't these basically going to be translucent? But yeah, I'll put the slight, the light to medium shade in the giveaway. And I'll keep this super light one because I think the other one's more likely to match more people. Even if you're like medium complected. Yeah. Especially if it's basically translucent. So anyway, one of those is going in the giveaway. Okay. Let's almost done with this package. Okay, and this I cannot wait to wear. Y'all, this is a little worry ring. Um, It's very cute. It has little moons and stars on it. So cute. But when you put it on, that's too big for that finger. It's a middle finger ring, but when you put it on, it spins. The outer part of it spins. It's two pieces. So it's like you can just sit there and worry it. Like if you were in a job interview and so, or something and um, the interviewer was making you real nervous, you could sit here and play with this ring and survive it. <laughs> or just anywhere, really anywhere that you're like in a nervous situation and you can't bite your nails or just start playing with this ring. Awesome. I'm just gonna leave it on. All right, let me throw this up in this plastic away. Okay, next up. This I've been excited for too. I got this for a desk there in the living room. This is, um, you know how the bees and the mushrooms seem to be in style for this year? I got a little bee, well, I'm holding her upside down, or him or her, a little bee drawer pull. But this will work on my desk. It's like one of those secretary type desks that has the, the top that like folds down, that comes back and then creates a, a flat area. It was my mother's desk when she, it's an old Ethan Allen. It was my mother's desk when she was in high school. She would do her homework on it. So she's, she's been passed for probably almost 20 years now. So, um, but so it's kind of means a lot to me, that desk. But anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna use, in place of the pull that's already on there, I'm gonna use this little B. And uh, when I get it on there, I'll do a short and show you guys how cute it is. I think it's gonna be perfect. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Okay, what do we got over here? Ooh, okay. This has such great reviews on the site. I cannot wait to see it. Okay. Ooh, man. Oh, and it even comes with a, with a, like a dust sleeve. Nice. Usually only the high-end handbag dupes come with those. But yeah, this, ooh, look at the bottom of it. This is a purse, and it is so cute. Oh my gosh, I, I've got to like fill it up with paper or something. Let me see. All right, it has a, an outside pocket. Let me get this thing filled out a little bit. Oh, it's got the strap to make it a crossbody. Oh, and it's got, it's got another little tag you can add to it too. I'm not sure what that says or means, but I probably won't use that. But inside, it's really nice. It's got your typical pockets on this side, the typical or the typical pocket that pulls out on this side for your cell phone or what have you, your lip balm, lip gloss. Okay, then on the other side, it has, well, I didn't open it all the way, did I? 
yeah. It has a pocket for other items you want to keep kind of protected from the rest of the junk in your bag. I usually throw like powder, um, maybe concealer, some lip, a lip, couple of lip products in that compartment. Oh, and then inside, it actually has another zipper compartment that divides the bag. This is really, really nice, y'all. And this was such a great price. This is gonna be super cute to carry. I love, y'all, I'm an old hippie and all I want is a purse that serves my needs. I don't care about high-end handbags and impressing people and all that. I feel like if I need to impress my friends with a bag, with a handbag, I probably need new friends. <laughs> That's just how I feel about it. I don't know. I just don't feel like you sh people should be judged on their handbag. But anyway, I mean, some people just genuinely love them and like to collect them. But yeah, old hippie here. Don't care. Just want something that carries all my junk and still looks halfway cute. But yeah, that's a nice little purse there. And I cannot wait to start carrying it. Okay, let's get it. Okay. I'm trying not to be so high strung today, guys. I'm trying to be a little calmer. Oh, and let me show you. I used that little freckle pen. Can you see it? A little freckle pen. I used it and um, I went in and rubbed it. It dries really fast, y'all. If y'all order a freckle pen and use it, once you dot them on, don't wait too long before you go in and start trying to smudge them a little bit. I got to the ones on my face a little faster than I did the ones on my nose. Can I go out in public like this? I might need to run to the grocery store at a Dollar Tree to pick up a couple of things. I'm not sure. But anyway, all right, this is a little... It looks, that's pretty the way it looks like crystal from the side, but this is just a little brush, pen, pencil, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you want to put in here, scissors, whatever you want to put in here, just a little divided container. It's actually perfect for makeup brushes because you could put eye brushes here, face brushes here, you know, maybe your eyelash curler here, um, tweezers, what have you. Yeah, this is a cute little item. I'll definitely put this to work in the bathroom. Oh, and guys, I'm also, these are the earrings from my last haul. This is exactly the size I've been looking for. I think my search for my perfect pair of hoops is over. Y'all, I'm digging these. Oh, another thing I wanted to update you guys on is that I used this morning in the shower that Olaplex dupe set, the bonding shampoo and conditioner. And as you can see, I still have hair, so I think you're safe to use it. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, obviously it takes more than one use to really see results, but yeah, my hair looks about the same as usual. Maybe slightly better. I don't know. What do you guys think? But I mean, it didn't do any damage. So in my opinion, that's okay. Why am I already so sweaty? I think I'm dressed too hot in this hoodie. It's not hot, but it's humid. I've got the air on and I'm still about to die. Okay, what's this? What we got here? Oh, this is something I think I saw Heather Otis. I know you guys who watch YouTube videos have probably seen her. She is so cute. She is so deadpan with her facial expressions. <laughs> she cracks me up. I love her videos. They just brighten my day. But anyways, um, I should probably keep the instructions. Yeah. But anyway, this is a little cappuccino maker or just a little drink mixer. I usually don't order things like this because I'm not much of a cooking person, but I do drink coffee. And look at look at how beautiful that blue is. I forgot I ordered it in this gorgeous blue. But yeah, it's very small. And it looks like it runs on batteries. Yep, and it has a little battery compartment here. And um, it just has a simple on-off switch and just a little small mixing in. And obviously it doesn't have batteries in it because it's not cutting on yet. Now I can feel it doesn't have batteries. But yeah. Just a cute little um, drink mixer. I guess you could even use this on a smoothie even if um, you don't have like anything frozen in it. You could probably mix up some banana, some sliced bananas, some pineapple juice, some orange juice, whatever, milk, what ice, whatever you want to put in it. That could probably do something that's not too major. Okay, let me put that back up. I just love the shade of blue though, so pretty. It's a shame it has to be hidden in a drawer. Okay. Speaking of blue, this is a very blue haul. I think that's what I'm gonna name the video. <laughs> this is a very blue haul. Okay, 
Next up, I've been kind of obsessed with turtles lately, so I bought a little stretchy turtle bracelet. Isn't that shade of blue beautiful? It's that gorgeous aqua or teal blue. I'm not sure exactly what you call it, but yeah, but it's snug, y'all, and I have a fairly small wrist. It didn't say that it was for children, but I think it could almost fit an older kid, like maybe an 11, 12-year-old girl. Anyway, very cute. This is very cute for summer to wear at the beach. Oh, I'm so sweaty. What is wrong with me? What? You know what? I think it's this light I'm using to help light up the area. It's not a ring light, but it's a light that you attach to your phone that I got off of Amazon. And yeah, it, this puts off some serious heat. No joke. Okay, so I got that little bracelet. I'm going to put that right there so she doesn't get lost in the shuffle. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this. Guys, I ordered a bathing suit bottom. I have a top in mind that I wanted to wear it with. This is really cute. It looks like crochet, but it's, but it's definitely bathing suit material. This is the material that's, you know, going to dry off really fast when you get out of the water. But yeah, I am a real modest person, as you can probably already tell from my videos, and I don't like showing a lot. I don't like showing my legs. The most I'll do during the summer is wear a pair of capris. I just don't like showing a lot of skin. It's just not my thing. So I definitely would not go to the pool in a bikini, but this, this I can wear. I have like a tankini top, like a, a long tankini top that will go perfectly over this and be adorable at the pool. Okay or at the beach, wherever. As long as it covers up some, a multitude of sins. Okay, let's see, what else have we got, guys? What else have we got? We're still on a blue kick, y'all. <laughs> this is something else I saw Heather um, haul and I wanted to get it. Cause I feel like, I just felt like I needed to venture out for makeup and stuff like that a little bit. But this is a, um, what do you call this? Uh, like a dumpling maker. Like you put your round piece of dough in here and then you close this and it seals your piece of dough so you can put it in your deep fryer, your air fryer, whatever. And um, she actually demonstrated one of these. And in fact, she might've had a smaller one. This is kind of, I think this was larger than the one she had. But um, she demonstrated using um, just like some croissant dough or something like that. Just some regular dough you can buy the refrigerated section. She spread it around and then she used um, like some apple pie filling that you can buy in a can. I mean, it was just completely easy to use stuff from the store. And uh, and then she just um, spread like her, her dough, like her biscuit type dough or, you know, croissant type dough around in here. Filled it with a little bit of um, apple pie filling from a can. Closed it up, sealed her dumplings, and then deep fried them in grease. And they, and then she put um, some powdered sugar over them. And they looked fantastic. So yeah, I'm gonna try this. In fact, I think I'm gonna go pick up the stuff to make some dumplings after I'm done filming. If I'm brave enough to with these freckles on. <laughs> okay guys, we're still on the blue. We're still on the blue for another minute. Where did my other stuff go? I think I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe not. I don't know where that other stuff went. But anyway, let's see what I got here. Ah, oh, yes. To match my little bracelet, I bought this little turtle with a baby turtle on its back. Let's see. It has a baby turtle on its back and it's got these blue crystals and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's sparkly and pretty. And it has, a, I think it's 16 and it will extend to 18 inches or 17 will extend to 18. But yeah, this is smaller than the type of pendants I usually wear, but that is so pretty. That will be absolutely beautiful with the little bracelet at the beach. Oh my gosh, that will be so cute. Oh, adorable. Okay, let me get into one more package here. We're already at 20 minutes, but I'll open one more thing. 
and then I'll probably save the rest of it for the next video. Okay. Let me just order something small out of here. What is this? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll order both. I'll um, show both of these little items, and I'll save the rest of this for another haul this weekend. But y'all, I bought a candle. This is my first candle from Timu. Oh, it is so cute! Look at there. It's got like little um, little pieces of like little fake pieces of stone, rock, like quartz. Wow, how pretty! What does it smell like? You know what it smells like? Have you ever like at the beach or just even in your hometown gone into a little gift shop that had, um, or like even like a head shop <gasps> that, um, that has the smell of like that herbly patchouli type of smell. It smells, you know, hippie like. <laughs> That's what this smells like. And it's such an adorable little container. This container is actually peach. It's actually peach. So when the um the candle completely burns down, it can uh, be put in the freezer, like just get the rest out. And this could be used for something else. It's darling. It's darling. I'm, I'm very impressed that it didn't arrive broken either. It just came in this box inside a bag and it, it made it perfectly fine. Yeah. Call me impressed that a candle survived. Yeah, so that's not a bad little candle from Timu. It, I thought it was going to be slightly bigger, but you always think everything about that from Timu. <laughs> okay, everything's either bigger than I expect or smaller than I expect. <laughs> okay, y'all. The last thing I'm going to show today is, um, so I don't have to drag these big scissors out every time I film, I bought this little cloud-looking little cutter. Let's see, is this going to work? Does this even stay put? No, it won't stay open. It pops back. So that's, I guess, a nice safety feature. So it only stays open while you're using it. And then as soon as you let go, it goes back in. How cool. And look, it's got a little hold where you can actually attach this like to your keychain, and you could have like a little cutter handy with you all the time if you don't carry scissors or or toenail clippers or something else that'll work for for opening things. That'd just be handy to have anywhere. I think I might put order another one of these and put it on my keychain. Not a bad item to have at all. Okay, guys, that's the end of my haul for today. Um, I guess I'll have another one coming up this weekend. Also, my T move. Um, not Timu, Ipsy bag for the month of April is out for delivery or may have already been delivered by now. So yeah, I got more videos coming up, lots more Timu orders on the way. And um, I'll be doing shorts to show little individual things I bought like that, like that desk or drawer pull. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you like my videos, please like and subscribe, share, whatever you can do. Even just watching all of them is, is a huge help. But yeah, I just really want to grow and get to a thousand subscribers so I can have another big giveaway. And I'm just really excited about it. So yeah, I'll see you guys the next one. Have a wonderful um, rest of your week and weekend if I don't see you again. Thanks. Bye-bye.